These woods are an example of what can be accomplished without man's interference. This forest, away from any town or communal society, is as untouched by man as any mass of green can be. It would be easy to mistake an area like this as a place of solitude and silence. That is not the truth. Here, there is no substantial evidence of civilization, but that does not mean it is without life. Wind and water fill the amphitheater with motion and meaning. Endless chatter of woodland beings permeates within this arborous cathedral. These are not idle conversations. Nature is not entirely benevolent. A symphony. And yet, this does not a concerto take away from of its unification. Beauty. Animals Perfectly are hunted and eaten design. alive, with no knowing of anything no outside for how these beings coexist. Human life, there is no reason very to much the same. Every day dreams, is lived unknowing dreams, that any moment life will be last. And that but it is assumed that now is not that moment. Today is not that day. There is a desire to strive for significance. But in the end, every day ends just the same. These vicious beings live doing what they must do to survive, even if it means the end of another creature's life. At the heart of the forest, does this does make make them any different ever than a small rodent, as large as a hill in the confines of a tree, standing alone from the outside apart from the rest of the forest, even something as beautiful the as a flower can be subjected to training, training the essence of other greens. Stand a little bit able to withstand the elements for the century bit brighter. There is no branches that brings about destruction of trees within the wind. Yet, this forest is everlasting beneath the countless branches. Life carries on. No light permits. Even if it's not the life that came before. There is one thing that this beast streams cut into the wooded area than any other being on this planet. Carrying the essence of life from the top of the hills to all the It endures the frost of the winter. The storms of the spring swiftly scour the scorch and the summer to ensure the, the continuation of this Eden. It endures the loneliness, being the being different and unyielding. Unlike a standard tree, grows taller and the cycle of this network year. of vitality never not return to the that surround it. It only the other travels trees live downward and they will into the endless die. expanse of the sea. This monolith never the remains to stand the test of time. Following the street. Darkness overtakes those who enter this realm of wet and stone. Turning back leads to another kind of blindness that only incepts at the great divide of light and the abyss. It is better to become accustomed to the dark on our journey within. The only way to reach the highest peak is to descend into the deepest parts of ourself, far within the mountain. The life of the outside world this does not they go where it was dread. Within the chasm consists no of a reason for creatures without a conscience to join in winding in this quest inward of and outward. There is no telling is where one path feet. stops and another giving us a sign to carry on. But we must choose for now. Darkness. This is the only a strange familiarity about this the only one there's ever been. As if you have been here once before. The silence of the deep 
has now been broken. You have always been here. What once was a faint you dream never left this has darkness. now become a bellowing the beat of, of a heart of stone. Distilling the, the essence of life companion. before Remind sending it throughout the tumultuous life. cavern. The pounding echoes oh, within your mind until there is nothing left and but the sound and the feeling of undeniable existence pushing forth. It has been ages since someone met with the pulsating rock. The visions granted by this enchanting boulder bears witness to your own faults. These jaded memories the darkness are not left forgotten at the realization and are carved that you into the walls no to stand alone. the test of time. Nature's light sources fill the void like tiny bonfires, providing mm -hmm. warmth and safety from the dark. Humming and buzzing, these light-filled guardians illuminate the darkness to reveal that there was another beside you all along. Every step closer brings you one pace further away from this cordial being. But who could it be? This dark being in this eternal landscape of darkness, only shown through the kindness of the torch-bound Isaac's harmony. So from the ever longing vent, there is no mistake of the importance of a being such as brings light to the members so we do not know. And that, this is not the end. Not here. Very Emerging from the depths of remembrance, a new serenity seeps forth into vision. Glistening in the distance, the overbearing copper orb begins to set its wavering mind. We are closer now than ever before to the persevering peak, a place where we too will find our home to dream. A restful sleep is the ultimate reward for those embroidered in tumultuous turmoil. At least for this moment, there is nothing left but to close the lying eyes and open the wandering wisdom of uninterrupted thought. At this moment of utter twilight, the veil of truth in the not so distant speed. geography the source of the mountain streams the fulfills a vast pool of hopes and dreams. Lotus petal along the outskirts of the seams, dancing and pooling all together, making their leave one after another in an endless cavalcade of organic staccato. Memories of the truth contort into beautification of reality. Many, what once was, is not life's faithful occurrence due to whatever conventions of one's conviction. These trusted falsifications establish a history, both honest and maligned, but whichever of these creates the further benefit will stand the test of time. Can it be that actuality can be erased through the complexity of memory? The second sighting of the familiar phantom brings peace to my frantic and soul. Drawing water from the acquiring aquifer is none other than the rehabilitating reason for this vigorous venture. Her beauty reflects perfectly in the hopeful spring. The lotus flowers tell tales of majesty all to her touch. A song of sweetness embellishes the being known from time long since past. Petals may fall from the flowers they form. Their freedom fastens onto my fleeting and faltering feelings, 
The living touch of all the surpasses of the sun has only begun its something more place. easily dreamt in a world. Before the night Long sets in, deity. memories regain momentum. Dreams and their happenings fade into existence. Love and loss are among the most famous feelings in the moments of increasing dusk. There is still a sweetness to be found. Now, only somber moments take the stage. There is no stopping the prominence of these emotions. In the same way, there is no impeding the beginning of a new day. To lose something, but in the sun, lose a piece of however faint. There is still no time the to make a change. Regardless of the moment, a difference, peace keeps the night so from overlapping the glory of the nearest star. And like the accept that the feeling one of lost personal lives exists life force promotes the endearing experience gathered from gifts fine given fiction. unto us are stolen without repair. But in the end, they are gifts and only alive for a fleeting time. Like everything journey, else in this world, the endless river of venture here to reach the, the highest of peak. eternity. All things are caught. There is a softness to the ground here unfelt in neither the wood or the stone. We alone, greenery that grows here is different. Countless fragments. Everything upon this hill together with such a circulate humanity goes unwilling or unable to take upon this quest of internal essentials. The fading light. The finality of existence is among the highest truths reaching back to the conception of creation. Nothing lasts forever, regardless of the implications granted by the numerous promises made in one's lifetime. Love brings loneliness. Joy carries pain. Life leads to death. Everything ends. To dream of everlasting is futile. What is left behind will eventually be forgotten. There is no avoiding these words. The clock's hands continue to strike each hour without failure, its face unnerved, tirelessly turning the circumference of infinity. Every stroke signals the edge of one universe and the genesis of another. Will the gears that turn over time ever cease? What will happen then? This world at this peak will it stop above all or created shall it find by continuation man and without the need of its keeping. feelings of forfeiture force deeper than any wounded heart can bear. It is here where the troubled soul will at last find peace from the bombardment of huddled empathy. There is nothing that can be said to ease the pain of brokenness. Two rings join together to become eternity, and still. This is not enough. Total transcendence requires more than a promise, metal, and a seal. More than love. One must relinquish themselves to be as wrong to believe. Give only to the other. Else waiting on the other side. Any lack of strength will cause Perhaps the my sight to shatter. Riddled with self Regardless of sickness fear. or hell. Beginning again. I could never forget. Forget her would be a crime with no just punishment, not even after death. Surely there is nothing more foul to have forsaken an ideal so pure. The hollowed words of matrimony do mention the inevitability of separation. But regardless of my words of the past, my speaking during this journey, I never gave up hope. The hope to see her again someday. 
As I traveled the vacant Gaia, I searched to hear her voice, seeking the answer to why. Why did we not deserve the jubilations we dreamed during our youth? Tiny orbs of light from the depths of the mountain join me once more, flickering a path towards the summit, to the Alpha and the Omega of all things. For what exists now fell from the sky as rain, and there I shall return but by wait. the flickering flame of the night's message. What is this at the top of the mountain? I am no longer this alone. familiar form that I has been forever etched into my mind. Together. The roaring winds and the rising torches make evident it is she, the one whom I have been seeking. The only reason I have left to continue onward. And here we are, at the beginning of all things, and at the end of this history's tomorrows. Love always was, and always will be the guiding light that brings you home, no matter the distance. Whether it be across the world, throughout time, or transcending existence, love will find a way. You will never be alone, my dearest Renee. I wish I could leave you with more solace than this, but know that what we have will never truly end. No matter how dark the world may seem, no matter the paths your life takes you, even if you find another, know that this will be all right. I want you to be happy forever. You have given me more than I could ever ask for, my darling. A life filled with joyous perfection. Know this, for now and for always. I will always love you. These woods are an example of what can be accomplished without man's interference. This forest, away from any town or communal society, is as untouched by man as any mass of Within these trees, under these trees, life is... Simple. 